So if you're not an East Cape fan, this certainly is reason to be one. Things like relocations tend to change your plans because it pains me to have to sell this rig. So I took delivery of it late March of 2023. So it is a 2023 Vantage VHP with only 25 hours. The color is guide green, which is one of their standard colors. Underneath, a Ramblin' all aluminum trailer with aluminum mag wheels, including the spare. Swing tongue up front. It has been garaged only since new. I have their stakeout option up here. Pop-up cleat. And I opted for the all grip. It makes this boat really gorgeous. And as you'll see, also referred to as maybe a two-tone option. So I have two deck mounted rod holders. So whether you're using the casting platform or not, you've got them here. Jump seat console, the front is a cooler. And underneath are two batteries, one of two lithium batteries for the Tarova, and it's a 75 amp hour lithium. And then the motor, tabs, and jack plate are operated off of an Optima blue top. All right, so the first hatch here on the port side, and I opted for the gas shocks. I highly recommend those. So I have a bucket on this side, and I've got a Fusion BB100, basically a remote head unit, if you will, a 1400 watt Fusion amplifier. And then this is the second of the two lithium batteries. So it's a 12 volt, 100 amp. So lots of power in reserve. And that runs all the 12 volt devices. And in East Cape fashion, the fit and finish is perfect in every way. Dive ladder, tabs, and underneath you'll see underwater LED. A Pro XS 115. Again, 25 hours. And I changed the fluids at 20 hours. Engine and lower unit. A three-in-one transducer for the Simrad. Two bilge pumps. An optional mounting location on this block for the trolling motor. V-Marine push-pull holders. And on the starboard hatch, it is open. So this is a semi-open boat. Lighted live well. So the Tarova is a 
248054. So 24 volt, 80 pounds of thrust with a 54 inch shaft. I also have the way that I charge that battery uh, in the console is I have an extra battery tender plug that connects to my charger. So I simply open up the breaker for that circuit underneath the console and I charge my trolling motor battery right from here. Very convenient. Flip down backrest. And you also have tubes in your casting platform here so you can mount your U-shaped lean post. It's a spreader light. So in the console, we have a Simrad NSS-12 Evo 3S. So 12 inch unit. Wrapped steering wheel. There is a control here for the sound system. And then underneath, battery switch, two 12 volt plugs, and 10 switches. Easy to operate and quick since I added this. So on our way up front, this is the cooler. And I forgot to put this in there actually. So I use this on the bottom to then put my dry ice on. So I took a trip to the Keys and I was able to hold and keep frozen, for the most part, quite a lot. So the speakers. We have 8-inch SCAR audio. 8-inch uh, in the back. Two sixes in the front. Rod storage. We got three on each side. And by the way, I have two eight foot stick at anchors that come with it. Front hatch. And this is in the event you wanna check your fuel level. I will add that just manually putting in the fuel on your Simrad after you're done filling the tank up, I have found to be very accurate. So here's the front casting platform. It's in one of the two positions that you can have it in. And you can also, uh, you can also move it back and put it on the hatch. And that's it. Check the description for a couple of other links that you might find helpful, including the listing. Thank you.